tight secrets in the business of medicine. Why we learned how to save money and move next doctor. Okay. Ten seconds. Friday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Blue Street. Three. Two. Welcome back to the business doctor. Welcome back to the business doctor. Uh, this is Chris, the business doctor, joined by the lovely Pamela Harrison and Mercedes Carter. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. So today we're talking about are you getting off by the doctor? Um, and it's a thing that I think people need to start thinking about. And, and I want to make sure everybody understands. When I say you're getting ripped off, I don't mean it in such a bad way that um, you know, you're getting totally screwed. But I think people need to be educated and informed. And that's what the business doctor is trying to do. Uh, this whole platform is meant to give the inside secrets to the business of medicine so that you, the consumer, who spends a shit ton of money um, on healthcare, um, you know, every month, every year, that, that you know that there is a business side of medicine. I hope I can say shit. On the radio. Yes, okay. <laughs> Make sure to check. Um, don't want to get fined there. Um, I don't need a lawyer, another lawyer doing no, we do not. some other thing. Um, <laughs> we won't go into that. Um, hey, I do want to, um, I've got a really dear friend named Crystal Stewart, um, and, and her husband is, um, needs a transplant. And um, I won't you know, go into a lot, but you can go to the Business Doctor Facebook page, and I put a link out there. Um, it's uh, bit.ly forward slash help Crystal and Joe. Wow. And it'll take you right to the donation page. So um, go out there and look at it. I've known Crystal since, oh gosh, back in uh, Oklahoma City days, um, and she was my assistant then. Yeah. And we've stayed in contact for, for such a long time, and um, really, really great people. And um, Joe is such a great guy and unfortunate, you know, thing. But um, I, I heard yesterday that he is a right candidate um, for the, um, the transplant. Good. So um, they're about, I think, it, right, thirteen thousand, almost thirteen thousand of a twenty-five thousand dollar goal to help with the medical oh, bills wow. for the transplant. Yes. Um, and then uh, we're going to help Crystal with, um, you know, her med that medical bill to 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 get what everyone's going to learn about the end of the show yeah. on how they can get um, kind of free free money yes. uh, for the medical bills. Uh, but let's uh, kind of uh, talk about and staying with the theme. You know, am I getting ripped off? And I don't mean it in such a bad way, but um, if you go to the medicinebusinessexpert.com and you see the, the first article blog out there, I talk about my son's experience and, and that we had. And a lot of times, you know, if uh, because you know we're in healthcare, right? Um, you know, I'll go see a doctor just to see the experience. Go try a new doctor just to see the experience, right? Um, there's you know some urgent care is pretty close by um, uh, to where I live and. I went in one day, I don't know, it's probably a few months ago, and um, I remember going in and I'm like, okay, here we go, All right? I'm going to be an hour. So I had an appointment, went online, you know, yeah. did my part as, as the customer, got there, you know, five, 10 minutes early, um, checked in, and 30 minutes go by, 40 minutes go by. So I go to the front desk. I'm like, I'm sorry, what's the purpose of an appointment if I'm not going to get to be here? <laughs> right? And, and, and I already paid my, my copay, right? Yeah. And I'm like, I want it back. You know, give me the money back. This experience sucks. Where do I get a complaint? Like, I'm gonna go walk back there right now, and and go see you know find someone else because I'm not gonna sit here all day. There's a reason why I made an appointment. Right. I'm busy. I don't yeah. have time for this. Yeah. Right. I don't feel good, so I damn sure don't want to sit there and wait. Um, I hope one day that we're 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 able to Star Health is is able to um, kind of create that and, and launch the the on demand doc. Um, you know, the Uber for healthcare, if you will, uh, because I think there's that, that piece of, you know, maybe I do want to go in, but I don't want to wait an hour for it, right? right? So next week we'll talk about why. Why do you have to wait an hour uh, or 30 minutes or 45 minutes and why does the, the customer experience suck? Yes. Um, and then the, there's about four things, four or five things I talk about, we'll talk about and it's up on the blog right now that um, says what are the things that need to change? in order for us to start having a better customer experience and but back to you know am i getting ripped off um so do you know any friends or anyone who's had a great experience at the doctor just do people call and go man i gotta tell i had the best experience ever only those that have been to a plastic surgeon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. 
<laughs> yeah. 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 So I kind of think that, you know, why can't we have that for, for everyone, right? Mm -hmm. Not only, you know, it, it, I think every type of practice or doctor or business, right, should be that way. I think it doesn't matter if you're, you're paying out of pocket the straight up cash, right, to, for a plastic surgeon, mm -hmm. concierge, if you have Medicare, if you have United Healthcare. That shouldn't matter. How much money matter. you make should not matter, right? Mm -hmm. I should have a basic level of an experience that yeah. says when I get to the doctor, it's this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. um, but um, on the website, uh, medicinesbusinessexpert.com, I'm going to pull it up now. There's uh, some tips up there. Do, do either one of you have the website pulled up? Okay. But yes. Mercedes, if you go to the resources, yeah. you'll see there's uh, something there that says like the top 10 things you should know. Yeah, questions you should know to ask the doctor. Go ahead and read those out for us. All righty. Um, ten questions you should ask the doctor. One, what is this test for? Two, how many times have you done this procedure? So let's talk about that real quick, right? So what's this test for? So kind of like um, with, with taking Junior right there to his, his doctor. I'm going, why? Why do you want to run a strip test? Oh, that's, that's great, right? Mm -hmm no complaints of a sore throat, right? It's easy to look in there. Yeah. Why? You know, and what is this for? Um, you know, people need to make sure and understand and know that, uh, you know, when, when your doctor bills the insurance company, whenever that diagnosis has to be medically necessary for it to be covered, right? Mm -hmm. So if that claim went through, if they would have billed, if I would have stayed, because I left, right? I left immediately and said, this is bullshit went back to the front desk and said, I want the refund, we're going somewhere else. Um, I think you're trying to screw me here, this is a sham. Um, but if they if they would have went through, and they, they did bill for the, the visit, and, oh. and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but you know, there has to be medically, it has to be medically necessary, right? Yeah. And so you can't put in, you can't bill for a, a strep test. Right. There's no complaints or something for, for something of that nature. So, okay, so what is it for, you, you understand? What's the next one? Um, how many times have you done this procedure? So, you know, now we're talking about if you're, you're having a procedure, right? So maybe it's, um, I don't know, you know, I get um, it, these ESI injections for my neck, my spine, uh, back, and um, it's kind of important to know how many times have you done something, right? Uh, whenever Chris Jr. had uh, his, his tonsils out and, um, or uh, I can't remember what it was, adenoids maybe or something, um, it, that you, I mean, I interviewed, I can't tell you how many doctors, mm -hmm. right? Now, I now because I know how to go look for all this stuff, right? Which I want everyone to be able to know how to do. Um, I went and looked at everything, you know? And it was important to know because you trust, especially your yes. child, right? Uh, so how many have you done? But not only that, you know, do research online about that doctor. You yes. know, find yes. other peers and, you know, what peer reviews say about the person. And mm -hmm. um, if you're gonna have some, you know, I need, uh, what, two artificial discs. Mm -hmm. Well. You know, they've done those things, uh, you know, maybe the last five, seven, ten years in new technology. Mm -hmm. So what's important to me is I want the doc who's done it, the, has the best results, yes. case studies, right? Not just because you've done, you know, a thousand of them. Yeah. So you did a good job. The doctor right. says, how many have you done? And he's like, oh, I've done about a thousand. Okay. How many people are still alive? <laughs> right. Or can, you know, don't have any other problems. Yeah. Um, that's something we should, you know, know. So. Uh, when 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 the one of the when the question is how many times you've done this procedure, we're talking about actual procedure, surgery, anything invasive, going under anesthesia. Uh, what's the next one? When will I get the results? Which is very important. Oh, yeah, and that's something that you know, talking about the business side of things, right? When do you get the results? How many times do people you think ask, hey? Thanks a lot for, you know, you, you ran the flu test, right? Or stripped us. Mm -hmm. um, when am I getting the results? Now, some of those tests and things that they do in-house, Yes. you know, you get results. And, and I think where medicine is going to go is a lot of things that even has, you know, need to go out to a lab right. will be done in-house, right? They'll, the technology is getting there. Um, and so you'll, you'll get that instant almost result. Uh, but otherwise, what happens? You wait. If you don't ask and there's no accountability, yeah. you're waiting, you're waiting. What do you do? And then, then you're calling back, mm -hmm. right? And let's not get started on the experience in that, right? Oh, uh, so that's, that's a good one. What's the next one? Why do I need this treatment? Why do I need the treatment? You know, so now, right, start the questions off, you know, first, like, so uh, the strep thing. Why do I need the test, right? Mm -hmm. Now we've given the, the, there's a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Engage it with your provider and say, okay, why? Why, what's next, you know? 
um, if, if they're giving you a prescription for this, you can talk about that. Yeah. You know, ask questions about the, the side effects and maybe there's something else because what, what people may not know, and you, you may, you know, people know this, but don't think, there's, there's distribution coming, right? There's reps in every single day, right? At, at some of our clinics, we have them in every single day, right? right? And so they're doing what? Promoting their product, the best results, et cetera, right? Yes. So maybe the provider's gonna push it, push it that way, right? right? But maybe there's an alternative, and it may not even be a cost thing, but maybe it's just, hey, I want something different. And so you, you should know What's next? Uh, are there any alternatives? Exactly, right? Continue on, right? Yeah. Next. Um, what are the possible complications? Side effects, or even, you know, think about this, uh, uh, surgery, right? Yeah. You know, I, I kid you not, right? So I, these ESIs I get, they're, they're epidural steroid injections. Now, if, you know, a doctor knows what they're doing, um, pretty much you're, we're going to be okay, right? Yeah. But they're right in the spine, the epidural canal, yes. right? So one little slip up yeah. and you know, paralyzed, Perfect. right? So um, you you should know all of the risks and make a decision. And and I hope what, what, what people listening into this kind of get is, I'm not saying that you're, you're getting screwed, but what I'm saying is you need to be informed and engage and have conversations with your provider. It is okay to talk. And I know it doesn't feel like it because once, you know, you wait an hour and then doc comes in or, you know, whoever the provider comes in and then they're there for five minutes and out the door. Right. It's okay to ask questions and spend 15, 30 minutes, right? Exactly. I promise it's okay. And the more engaged that you are with the provider, the provider's going to like that. Yeah. Um, you know, and next week or a few weeks, we'll have some we'll have doctors on, and um, we'll, we'll kind of talk about it from their side, their point of view of it. What is it that the doctor wants? And I think it'll be a good um, kind of piece for, for, for providers to be able to, to use this platform to talk. Yeah, good. What's next? Good. Um, which hospital is best for my needs? Which which hospital this one needs? Okay, so this is a really uh, neat thing that that I think um, you know. So I talked about when Junior had his surgery. Well, what did I do? I called the different surgery centers because I wanted to know what my cost was going to be before. Because I wanted to compare would it be cheaper to, for me to pay just straight cash out of pocket than to pay and go through insurance, rent the deductible. Yes. And um, but here's what you may not know. That, that provider doing that surgery may have an ownership stake in that surgery center. So it may not always be the best cost alternative, right? But they may be at that location, they, they own it, so that's where it's gonna go. And what I'm saying is, you know, well, well, that's okay and it's perfectly fine, you know, you should still be informed, right? There are other cost alternatives that could be less expensive to you, yes. the consumer, and you should be aware of those things. Um, and there's things that, you, you know, we'll post on, on the website about you know, what do I ask when I call, you know, the surgery center or the hospital for that procedure? We'll post those. Um, have you guys ever, you know, went to have a procedure and then went online and started calling different centers to see what the cost would be? Um, I woke up at the hospital and they were wheeling me into the OR without, um, to take out my appendix. Oh, wow. Without, so my, you didn't have a, without my knowledge. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, so I put a stop to that really quick. I was like, wait, no, nobody's here. Um, <laughs> I would not like to have my appendix removed today. It doesn't even, it didn't even hurt in the right uh, area of my abdomen, so it was weird. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, so we, we've got uh, people online watching and listening right now. Head over to medicinesbusinessexpert.com, subscribe to the blog, and you got to stay in today on the show because we're going we're gonna to talk about it at the end somewhere. I don't want to say at the very end, but we're going to, to tell people how to basically get money for free for their next medical bill. And I'm so excited about this program um, because I think it's something that's that's been needed um, in the marketplace for a long time. Yeah. And so um, we're going to tell people how you can get about up to three grand for free. Um, so subscribe at medicinesbusinessexpert.com. Um, and when we come back, I'm going to finish up these questions. Okay, um, and then you know we're gonna go right into it. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Very good. Medicine Parts Portal. So what? It, so look, when I had my um, ESI, or when I got hurt, right, or injury, whatever the hell happened. Mm -hmm. So I go to the. Um, I end up having to go to the hospital. 
right? Because the pain was so bad. So I go to the emergency room, pop up emergency room, and they're like, you gotta go to the hospital. The pain was out the roof. And so I go in, we get admitted in the hospital, and um, I get meds, you know, pain, I'm okay, you know, I'm feeling better, I'm not hurting it. Next morning, I am literally out of it, right? I'm still not awake, you know, et cetera. And the girl comes in and she's like, okay, Chris, you have, you know, herniated disc here, ruptured disc here, et cetera. Um, and she was from the, the spine practice, right? Um, and so the, they're doing the consult. And she, and I'm like, well, who are you? She goes, well, I'm a nurse practitioner, you know, and the doctors looked at it and you need to do a fusion. And, but I'm like still not okay. And she's like, so we're going to go and try to get that scheduled in the next couple hours. And I'm like, ooh, whoa. What is, first of all, what's the spinal fusion, right? Yeah. Uh, but I'm like, hold on a minute. Now I have a friend that's a spine doctor, so um, I'm like, I'm not doing anything until I talk to him. And um, so I go back to sleep and um, call him later. I have the record sent over to them. And I told that doctor, I said, well, I'm going to have this doctor look at it first. And he kind of was like, what? Do you think he's better than me, you know? Wow. And um, so... My, my friend, Dr. calls me, he's like, do not have a spinal disfusion. You're the worst candidate for it. Yeah. And I'm like, why? Um, what's this song? Is it because of the music you're playing on Facebook? Yeah. Um, so I'm like, why? And he goes, well, your problem is at C4-5 um, and C6-7. So you're missing, right? So C5, 6 in the middle is okay. So the fusion fuses them together. And he goes, why? If you're going to mess with the one that's okay, why do that? And I'm like, he's like, you're the worst candidate. I'm like, thank God, you know, I'm on morphine, you know, pain, and I'm out of it. And they just wanted to get it in because, hey, I had great insurance, you know? And it was like, boom, do it. And it wasn't in the best interest of me. And I'm like, holy crap, how many times this happened? And that's why you talk, when you hear about medical practice and where it's, chopping off wrong legs, certain yeah. other things. It's because, you know, it's not there. And what we need is more and better education, right? And better things to those providers. Yes. I let them not worry about the business side of medicine. Let them worry about, <laughs> yeah, we, we need, we need to start off with them. Yeah. So they don't worry about the business side, right? Yeah. But it was that experience. <laughs> and I think people have that, that all the time. You got 30 seconds. Spot before we get back on. Yeah, do um, the one that we report. Okay. Actually, do the other one. Sorry. Hey, it's Chris, the business doctor. Are you getting ripped off by your doctor? Want to learn how to save money on your medical bills? Visit medicinesbusinessexpert.com and subscribe to the business doctor blog. Two. Visit medicinesbusinessexpert.com today. Hey, we're back. Uh, so we were just talking off the air about the experience I had, and it was it was crazy, right? So um, I had injury to my neck, uh, back, and, you know, C4, 5 disc, C6, 7. And anyways, the, the next morning while I'm, while I'm laying in the hospital bed, still pretty screwed up on, on meds and I'm half asleep. Uh, you know, and they tell me, hey, you've got this problem, so we need to do a fusion. And I'm like, wait, what? No, hold on, no, no, no. When are we doing this? We're gonna do it today. I'm like, wait a minute, I, I'm gonna call a friend, or it's a spine doctor. Um, and if I didn't have the friend that was a spine doctor, I would have gone online and started looking at this. And, and the next thing I know, you know, my, my, my friend doctor is like, dude, you're, you're the worst candidate for this, for, for a fusion. Um, you're missing, right? The middle disc is okay, and the fusion fuses the disc together. Don't touch that because in five years, you're going to have no problem. We're going to do another surgery. Um, and you're just kind of screwing it up. What you need is an artificial disc replacement. Um, but he says, I wouldn't do it. You're too young, right? If you can live through the pain and manage it through the pain and get other things, temporary relief and fixes, right? Um, it's never going to solve it, but uh, wait until you're at least 50. And he says, now, if you're quality of life is just completely gone, you know, we'll talk about it then, but I want to make really sure, right? Because it's not about just, hey, let's go build and get the revenue for it, right? Yeah. 
Um, so do you guys, you know, know anyone that's ever had a procedure, felt like they were coerced into it and for something and then went, oh my gosh, what the hell did I do? Or maybe didn't feel, you know, educated or informed enough? I have, can you? Um, I felt that way personally. Well, every time I go to the yeah, so you guys too. Way. So what? Tell me, tell me about uh, something you guys. Uh, it was my girlfriend Melissa. You met her. Yeah. <clears throat> she was having female issues, so they went in and did an ablation. And so I dated a gynecologist. Excuse me. And he said, "I do not do those anymore, but the doctors bill for those because it pays well through insurance." And he said, "Mark my word, she's going to need uh, a hysterectomy soon." And within six months. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so bad. Oh, yeah. um, what about you, Mercedes? Um, well, actually, recently, last week, oh, um, I was questioning them about the medications they were giving me because my uncle's an ER physician. Luckily, he came in and was like, well, these are her symptoms. These, these are the actual medicines that she needs to take. And if it weren't for him letting me know, well, when I was waking up and nobody was in the hospital and I went home, I would have too. Mm -hmm. um, she was trying to give me medicine and fun fact about me, I hate pills. So yeah. that was a struggle. I was like, mm -hmm. you're trying to give me a pill for what? Yeah. And it was like pain medication, like three different kinds. And I was like, I don't feel any pain. You didn't ask me. You just wanted to bill for more medication and just shove it down my throat. And I was like, I don't want it. No, thank you. Please remove my record. And that was that. Wow. So yeah, the hospital does not like me. <laughs> you know what? Um, <laughs> the boy, luckily, I mean, I, I want to talk about everything right uh problems because there's just so many um and I, I, I can go down a whole tangent on hospitals um and i think you know for the most part again i, I think that there's there's a really good intent and and i think you know kind of what i talked about off the air doctors are not really business people right um they're never really trained in business but yet they're expected to run a business exactly. because healthcare is a business and um when i ask doctors or people about that you know like is healthcare a business? You know, it's like 50-50 split. No, it's not a business at all. Um, and regardless of what would you think about, should healthcare be nationalized and et cetera? And um, I'm writing a blog about that and we'll talk about that in a few weeks. Uh, but you know, that doesn't matter, right? If it, it is a business, people make, you do make money, right? We pay as a customer. Um, and you know, so from that perspective, you know, doctors, the reason Star Health exists is for the, the business side of medicine, right? Um, you know, so we, we talk about pain um, in the opioid epidemic. I want to uh, plug StarHealthPain.com. So if you're in chronic pain or you know something's not wrong, we you know uh, so a few of the docs, one of the docs um, has has really been doing this need and a trial um, for chronic migraines and headaches. And I think there's about a hundred people that have had this procedure done by him, um, and all the results so far have been fantastic migraine headaches gone um and so you can go to starhealthpain.com um and uh, it does require a referral but you can go online just put in if you want some more information uh someone will contact you but there's uh offices uh downtown at the baylor center for pain arlington and um frisco newest star health pain location in frisco um and starhealthpain.com will get you uh the the address and, and check it out so um, we, we've talked a lot about, you know, and, and am I getting ripped off um, and, and not in such a way that you really think you're getting screwed. And now there is a lot of fraud, waste and abuse, though, um, that happens in healthcare, And that's kind of what this, you know, when I'm sitting there thinking, going, OK, I love talking, marketing to the consumer, uh, because I think that's where it really starts. Uh, but there's so much fraud, waste and abuse. And if if you take a, you know, a complex industry like healthcare that is so complex, um, and, and then you tap it onto the number one thing that consumers of healthcare lack is the knowledge and information of that complex industry. You leave a big gap in risk for fraud, waste, and abuse, right? And um, you know, I've, you know, there's things you know, I've been doing this pretty much all my adult life, um, and my my expertise is in reimbursement, health policy, compliance, and uh, so you know, I've seen a lot of things, um, and I've seen the people who intently did bad things, and then. The things where just because the doctor or someone built something wrong doesn't mean you were getting screwed and it was fraud. Uh, but, you know, it starts with having the conversations up front. Um, so one of the things I, I love is uh, what do you do when you get the bill, right? Don't ignore it, right? It's not going to go away. No. Um, and, you know, eventually it might. But, you know, 
in healthcare, you can go get your credit. Uh, but you'll find that you know most doctors are, are willing to, to work with you. And then here in about five minutes or so, I'm going to tell you how you can um, you know get money for free. Um, and, and so if you can't afford your procedure or something that you've got a procedure coming up, maybe it's an expensive deductible, how you can um, have that procedure done now um, and uh, get free money from it. Um, and you don't have to worry about uh, some financing program that requires a top tier credit score, you know, the 700 FICO, and it's going to charge you 30% interest. Um, and why, you know, that's BS. Um, and now you can get your health care and not have to worry about that. So we'll talk about that in, in, in just a few minutes um, before we wrap up the show. Um, so, you know, talking about, um, I talked to Mercedes a little bit about the millennial, right? So you guys think that there's a, a disparity or something that says, um, I know millennials, right? Want it now, convenience, etc. Do you think that all generations right now kind of, you know, there used to be this thing of, well, I go to this doctor because I've always gone to this doctor. Mm -hmm. And I kind of start to see a shift a little bit of where can I get to the doctor the quickest, right? right? Um, and so what do you think? Do you think that'll continue on that way or what do you think will happen? I personally think it's going to continue to go that direction. Um, just of how our entire society is now, everything, you can get ever, anything at the, at your fingertips. So, um, yeah, everything's going to go that way. I'm relational and loyal. <laughs> I want, as soon as I find a doctor that I trust, I don't want to, I don't want to mess that up. So what if, yeah. what if though? You're, you're getting overpaying, you're waiting an hour, and I go, hey, there's a Star Health Clinic you can go to, and it's five minute wait then time. I try. Yeah, so th there is a sense of trust to the doctor, right? Mm -hmm. And so separate the business aspect of it, right? Um, I, I break down a, a practice into three phases, right? The phase one, the beginning, phase two is that doctor, and you need to trust them, right? Mm -hmm. um, so do your research, right? And then everything else is that experience, right? So if you can get a doctor you trust, and then you also get a good experience, now you've hit the win-win, right? Yeah. And, it, and it, But there are things that you as a customer, right, also need to do. Um, and next week, we're, we're going to talk about that um, when we talk about why does it take so damn long to see the doctor and why do, you know, why do I have to wait so long? Um, but make sure you head over to medicinesbusinessexpert.com subscribe to the blog, um, you know, promotion things, the information on how to save money you're going to get. Uh, there's also resources out there right now, like the, the top 10 questions um, that, that you should know and ask your doctor. There's, there's other information out there. So before we wrap up on the show, I want to talk about the program that I'm so excited to announce um, and, and, and we recently launched um, that said, okay, in the healthcare market, if I can't afford a procedure, um, there's usually some financing options available, right? There's, there's companies out there um, that, that I can you know, request a, a loan from, and you know, they're high, really high interest rates. Um, and I get a hope though that I get approved, right? So the, you know, the top ones out there, Care Credit, Prosper Health, et cetera, right? You guys ever use any of those or had, you know, got or know people that have uh, needed to finance something but couldn't get approved? I'm sure I have medical bills that I need to pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've you got a program now. Right, right. So, so this is what, it, what I'm pretty excited about. Um, you know, we kind of were looking at the market and saying, why isn't that you got to pay 30%, right? Um, that's that's kind of BS. I think it's, it's screwing people. And then you have to have a, a top-tiered FICO score, right? Not everyone has. So what do we do with that pool? Well, people either just don't pay the bill, but, you know, we're healthcare now. Doctors are really starting to... Uh, crack down on paying up front, right? Mm -hmm. So if you go to www.mypatientloan.com, you're going to see how you can get 0% interest, and we don't care what your credit score is. doesn't matter. doesn't matter how bad, how good your credit score is. It doesn't matter who you are. There's no hidden fees. It's 0% okay. uh, payment plan. Um, they can get your provider needs to be affiliated with the Star Health Network, uh, the Star Health Provider Network, and um, that provider can uh, sign up 
um, to this, join the Star Health Provider Network just for the this this the patient loan program, uh, the patient payment plan program by going to provider.mypatientloan.com. But if you go to www.mypatientloan.com, there's some information out there. You can download a brochure um, and see it. But we kind of be- really believe that it, you shouldn't be uh, you know, said no to that, you know, you can't have a procedure because of your credit score. Um, and, and we just don't think that that's, that's right. Um, and we really don't believe in charging, you know, 20, 30% interest. Um, so 0% interest guaranteed, guaranteed to, to be approved regardless of your credit. Um, so check it out, www.mypatientloan.com. Um, and I think from medicinesbusinessexpert.com, you can probably link over there too. But you're getting free money. You know, why are you not? Uh, I've got a procedure through the program because I don't want to pay the thousand bucks at all. Um, I'd rather finance it for free, free money that I'm giving now. Um, and, and I think that's a whole of a lot better way uh, to do it. So we recently launched that program and um, hospitals are, are starting to take advantage of it now. Um, and so we think it's a, such a great way for consumers to be able to not have to worry about. There's also that thing, if I'm at the doctor and I get apply and I get denied, you know, that, that psychological, because of my credit, you're like, oh, crap, I don't even want to apply because I don't even want to know what my credit is, right? So I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go there. It's embarrassing. And so we, we just think a little different um, uh, at Star Health. Uh, so if you want to learn a little bit about um, Star Health or the Star Health Provider Network, easiest way um, is to go to um, signup.shpnetwork.com um, and, and that's uh, you know providers you can kind of see what, what different services Star Health provides um, uh, to providers uh, but www.mypatientloan.com is how you can uh, get it so all you got to do is whenever you're going to have a procedure as long as your doctor is signed up you're good um, and then you can apply uh, so for your next upcoming procedure and even if you have a, a past due balance at that doctor and you have a procedure coming up, you can bundle those two together and, and pay it out now over for 0%. So um, really need to take advantage of that. Um, but if you have any questions about the program, you can um, go to medicinesbusinessexpert.com and go to the contact page and do it there. It looks like we're about out of time. Thank so um, thanks for joining. Um, thank you, Pamela and Mercedes. And we'll see you next week, Fridays, 11 a.m., 12 p.m. on Fishbowl Radio Network. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bravo. Did very good. Good job. Good job. Like you've been doing it for years. <laughs> Are you going to drive them to your Facebook page? Yeah. And then like post all of these different websites that you throw Well, I, I, I'd rather them sign subscribe. Yes, through the, uh, the website. Um, they can now um, subscribe on Facebook, but there's, I don't know, about 15, 20 people on live right now yes. on the Facebook page. Mm-hmm. So when I posted it out there, a lot of these people here are already out there. Yes. Uh, but I don't know how many of you, I guess we'll see the stats on listeners. I have 18 viewers on Instagram Live. So. Oh, you had Instagram Live. Yeah. I didn't do that. Oh, I didn't do that. Awesome. Yeah, I hope. Um, what else? Yeah. <laughs>